Hey guys, so I'm here with baby Lizzie and just to clear things up, I did not change her name. I accidentally called her Lily um, a couple times that I wasn't even conscious that I did it um, in the video. And the reason being for that is because, um, like I told you guys before, she reminds me of my firstborn daughter and her nickname was Lily. Um, they call her little Miss Lily and Jean. And so, uh, when I'm interacting with her, it everything about her reminds me of my daughter. And I guess just from a mother's, you know, instinct, I just called her, um, I just called her Lily. So, but no, she's still Lizzie. I just, um... So I just was having a moment, I guess, you know. And again, that's why I say these babies are emotional purchases. Because um, originally, when Claire Teller started showing these babies, my instant draw was to the uh, AA baby. And then um, I started watching her and I was like wow she, her color is getting really you know nice or whatever and I was looking at it as she shared you know different photos and I was just like fixated on this baby and I was like dang I really like the dark darker one but I like this one and then the blonde one oh my gosh with the locks of lots of locks of curls I went crazy over that one but I knew that this one was was it um before she even had hair uh when she showed them it was one of the pictures that she showed i think right i think the last picture she showed before she offered them up to be available and i was like man i was like this is it i'm like she she's the one and um i actually was like really feeling like I shouldn't even be buying any more babies but I was like I gotta figure this one out I gotta get this one so um yeah that's pretty much how it went I don't know if I want to change her diaper and I didn't know she had on that diaper she has the little pampers I think I'll go ahead and change it she's had this on for a while and it's getting a little squanchy but yeah I I you know I accidentally called her that because of that. So, guys, I need your help. I want to know from everyone that follow my channel. Um, I'm going to call it viewer's choice. <laughs> I need you guys to tell me what kit should I paint? Um, what kit would you, that you're actually in love with? Um... I know Levi is popular. I'm not sure if I can get Levi. I love Levi for other people, but not so much for myself. But again, it's not about me. Just tell me. I just want you guys to tell me like what kit that you're winning on over. Or would like to see me paint so because I'm gonna paint a kit and then somewhere somehow eventually in the month of June someone's gonna get a free baby from me so because I told you guys in June I would do that so and I didn't put any powder in her diaper. But um <laughs> but that is what's going to happen. So if you guys would help me and tell me what kits that you like so that I can go with the popular vote. And you know what thumb either? Okay. Um I can go with a popular vote and I can Pick a kit 
that people like and I can paint. So I'll be getting back to painting really soon. Um, things been crazy for me and I haven't been able to do any painting and that's um, like a real bummer when you get started into painting and then all of a sudden you can't paint and you find that you absolutely love painting. It gets to be kind of somewhat of a bummer. Um, she is not really a passy baby. Um, I, I think she does good with Nook. But because of her little puckled lips, I just, I tried her with some different pacifiers. Hang on. And I really didn't like it. I really didn't. I just, I don't like her with pacifiers. Um, and I'm a pacifier lover. But I really didn't care for her with the pacifiers. I'm bringing my pacifier, well, a portion of my pacifier collection over. Oh, uh oh. Jeez. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there we go. So. I feel, see these has already been modified for another baby. Bummer, because that would have looked good on her. I feel that Nook is her thing. I really do. Um, now this one, I don't like these nipples. I don't like these these fat bulb nipples. I don't like them for, for babies. Um, see, I would have to... But that's what she would look like. Let's see. Now she would probably look okay with that one. But I I would have to put some KY on that. Because I don't like having to do all that extra stuff with the, with the nipples. I like them flat. Even though this one is a little longer than I would like. I still prefer it over that other one. Because it's. It's flat, you know. So see, she's she like I said, she's not one of those passy babies. She does really good with nuts, though. I will say that. Here's her with a nook. Nook fits her like so great. She looks so sweet with a nook. So I think the Nook pacifiers is what it is for her. That is going to be her thing. She could probably do well with these too. Maybe even these. Let's see. Yeah, that one is cute. All right, I got to get her with this on. Or you guys are not going to see her with it on. Oh, look, found the watermelon one. Not that this one is precious on her. The the bulb on it is huge though. But yeah, she would <laughs> it's not going in. I didn't I didn't put it in. I don't want it to look so rough. You ever watch videos and you look at it and you're like, gosh, it looks like they're it's so rough. But it's just because you're not there. See that one is like so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that one on her. Yeah, she's gonna need some some KY if I'm gonna keep changing her out the passes. Now this one got the little small bulb, and I like that. That's the Playtex. I love Playtex on all babies. I think Playtex works for all babies. There she go. Oh, she looks so sweet with that one. Now I like that one on her. But her little cute little lips, she just don't really need a pacifier. That's just the honest truth. But her onesie says, coolest niece ever. And one that I've had holding on for a while that I bought and no one hadn't worn it yet. And it's a three month. So I'm hoping that she can fit it. It looked a little small for her, but we'll, we'll try to make it work. <laughs> oh, mama baby. It's your mama, baby, mama, stink a fool. Let me tell you something, though. My first daughter, she was not this peaceful when she was this 
size though. Oh, well, I think maybe she'd start to calm down a little, but she was a crier. I mean, that girl would just cry, 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 cry. When she got older, she became very particular about things and she was a very fussy little child. But she was one pretty little fat little baby. And she was long like this. So, let's see, let's see, come on, do you want this thumb, there we go, uh, that would be a no, she don't really want it either, but yeah, she's gonna let that come off. So yeah, that is Little Miss Lizzie. She is the Gabigail by Claire Teller. Of course, I'm sure everybody already know that. But I just thought I would tell you guys again anyway. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom into her. So there she is. There she is. So see you guys for later and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.